Hey everybody, it's Shane from BD Diesel Performance, and I'm here to talk to you about Shaft. You're damn right. And all of it. What you see here in front of me is an assortment of input shafts for 48RE transmissions. This assortment is essentially all the shafts that you'll be able to acquire or uh, get built into a transmission on the market today. They range from everything from stock to our all new solid input shaft. And we'll touch on that in a minute. To start, we should probably outline what are important features and what to look for in an in a aftermarket input shaft. Why don't we look at this stock shaft here? This stock shaft has 23 splines. It's fairly skinny and also includes the lube holes for the lube circuit to the torque converter. This hole connects to a hole down the center. What that does is allows fluid to flow to and from the torque converter for lockup or release. Downside to this hole is now you have a stress riser. This is the location of the highest stress when the shaft is in torsion. If you see a 48RE input shaft that's failed, often you'll see a spiral crack located uh, fracturing from this hole spiraling around. So, now that we know that the basics of the shaft is we'd like to make it thicker, maybe a better material, get a better spline count, and do something about these lube holes, let's look at what's available in the market. First step would be a modified street truck. He might look at something like a billet shaft, or what most people would refer to as a billet shaft. This billet shaft fits into a stock style transmission, doesn't require a custom torque converter, will fit with any stock or replacement dial converter, has the same 23 splines, is made of a better material, but still contains the normal lube circuit in and through the, the shaft for torque converter operation. Now that's all good for a street truck, but what if I got a race truck? Well, you probably look at something more like a fat shaft or a big shaft. Here are two examples of uh, that type of shaft. They contain the better material found in the billet shaft, but also increase the spline count. This one here is a 27, this one being a 35. Uh, due to the increased size of the shaft, these now require a special modified stator support as well as custom torque converters to go with the increased spline size. This isn't a very big deal for a racer. He's probably gonna be buying a uh, high performance torque converter anyways. Uh, it wouldn't be a big deal just to opt to get the matching one for your big or fat shaft. The downside is that these shafts still contain the same pesky lube holes. These uh, will still be the peak stress location on the shaft in torsion and will still be the failure mode. Uh, some ways that these shafts try and get around this is by decreasing the hole size. As you can see here on my one on my right, it's quite a bit smaller than the one on the left to try and gain material thickness. The downside to this is it adversely affects converter lockup speed. You may find the truck wants to hang on to the torque converter clutch or is hesitates to apply the torque converter clutch. This is an ideal in a racing application where you want that sucker to hammer on as quickly as you can. So you say I'm an all out, all out racer. Great. What we've got for you here today is the solid shaft for 48RE transmissions by Sancher Performance Diesel. This shaft features an increased spline count, a whopping 37 splines a better material, and no lube circuit. It no longer has the lube holes, no longer is drilled all the way through. It is solid, as the name implies. How we do this is by moving the flow to in and around the stator support instead of in and around the input shaft. This allows us to have a thicker shaft, uh, which is slightly longer. This allows for two things, increase in strength and a slight increase in torsional flexibility, allowing the shaft to bend not break when it needs to. Do it again. Just to summarize, all this information is a lot. Stock shaft, small, slim, lube hole, 23 splines. Billet, better material, fat shaft and big shafts, better material, better splines, still has a lube circuit. Solid shaft, better material, better splines, and no lube circuit to cause a failure point. These are available in our BD Trackmaster transmissions today and can be outfitted with a High 5 or our Pro Force 3D torque converters. 
find out more information, you can go to our website at bdiesel.com or contact our sales team today.